We're taking you to the Capilano Suspension Bridge today. We are headed about 20 minutes away from downtown Vancouver. The Capilano Suspension Bridge, I don't know if it was around since 1889, if that was what, when it was built, but I know that was available to people touring the area. Millions come and just kind of walk the big suspension bridge. There's about eight, seven or eight of them, but one main suspension bridge that you'll see here later while we try to walk across it. We've been to the Capilano suspension bridge back in 2013 and it was, it, we were with our kids so that was different. Our daughter at the time was probably like three or four years old and she literally ran the bridge. She had no qualms, no fears, anything like that. So hopefully this time around I, I will be able to take that and the last time I was really, I was so afraid because I'm actually afraid of heights. You'll have a nice view of the North Shore Mountains, the coastal rainforest. It's not your typical rainforest that you would see in the Amazon, but it's, you know, got a bunch of evergreens. It's, we're pretty much nestled in the in between the evergreen trees and you'll be able to see the Capilano River and we'll also take you on the cliff walk, which is attached to a granite cliff. So it's all interesting, all fun stuff, um, very family friendly. Um, I will link details below as far as ticket prices you'll be able to see online. But yeah, if you guys end up coming to Vancouver, Canada, you should come visit this place because it actually is really nice. You get some fresh air and uh, it's definitely, definitely a place to see. So if you guys visit here, make sure that you guys dress kind of warm. Um, we are in the mountains, so I mean, we're not super high elevation, but we are in the mountains and it's, I don't know, it looks like it's kind of snowing. I'm not sure, it might be rain, but yeah, dress warm, get a hat and uh, a down jacket and you'll be good to go. Huh? Yeah. yeah.
we are in a space where everybody kind of hangs out when they want to rest, kick up their feet. So here you can pick up some souvenirs at their gift shop. And then also panning around, you'll find their loggers grill. It's kind of like a fast food um, stand where anybody can pick up like some hot dogs or burgers or fries around the corner, which you won't see here is an eat in restaurant. This point also serves as the entry point for the Capilano Suspension Bridge, as well as their cliff walk. No, stop. Bang, I'm serious, stop. Yo, dude, I'm super scared because I can literally feel the ground or the walkway vibrating. Stop! So, I'm just, it helps when you look ahead. Don't look down. Stop. How can I do the suspension bridge? I know I can do it. It's just, I just have to be brave. That was kind of a long walk. I didn't, I don't think I came here last time when Ava was little because I don't remember walking that much. I must have walked down and walked back. done up in these lights it's so pretty they are in preparation for valentine's day i believe love lights i think it was called but that doesn't start until february 3rd so if you guys are in the vancouver area uh come check it out but it's so pretty up here this is probably one of the most beautiful forests i've ever been to so we are going on to the suspension bridge wish us luck
so I'm holding onto the railings. I can't even imagine how many people held onto this. So I'm gonna be uh, using a bunch of hand sanitizer later on. Okay, ready. This won't be as bad. Hopefully. Yeah, this is this one's not too bad. You know you're touching my dirty hand, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can do this. This isn't as bad going back, right? Okay. I'm on the bridge now and it's super, it's not bad. It was super wobbly earlier. Yep, I can do this. I went on the other seven, eight bridges, that little bridge. Oh, okay. Now I'm on the big one. It's not too bad. Let me pan around. Oh, shit, shit. Oh. 